Hey, it's BGV, and welcome to another boss guide for Lords of the Fallen 2023, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tancred, Master of Castigations. Uh, not particularly that difficult. You want to make sure that you do well against this guy early and you don't spend too many heals. Um, and basically, it just does a lot of sacred magic. I guess it's called Radiant. Um, and yeah, you can parry the crap out of this guy because he's got very slow, deliberate shield and sword attacks. Uh, he's also got a parasite right off the bat. So we're going to grab our vigor and we're going to try to locate where that parasite is and get it cleared out. So there it is. So there goes the parasite, or I thought it went. Okay, so we're going to try to grab it again. There it is right there. So down goes the parasite. And now we can focus on parrying this guy. You can see getting rid of the Parasite also removes about half of his stagger bar. So we're going to kick him here. Beautiful start. Yeah, because you can get a repost on him uh, pretty easily early. Okay, so when he does his empowered attacks or his shield slams, you want to roll those. I don't think you can really parry those. When he does this, he's going to shoot five missiles at you. Uh, you can simply run those out. Uh, very easy. They're pretty slow. And now he's in a defensive formation. Uh, he's going to do a laser, which is fine for me because we're close to him. Okay, let's back up and heal. Yeah, when he empowers his weapon or empowers his shield, you don't really want to try to parry those. You just want to dash them. Uh, luckily, I do have some um, regeneration. I do have some uh, healing when I use a Sanguinarix. Okay, this you want to roll into him because he'll do a shockwave around the whole arena. So you want to roll into him when he does that. Uh, and yeah, when he does this little shield thing, you can kind of just sprint around him because uh, he takes forever to get out of this and to just deal damage from behind. Okay, we're going to parry that. We're uh, going to try to parry that, which is a mistake. Okay, what's he going to do? He's going to do the missiles now, so we're going to simply run around him. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to roll that laser. Let's close the gap as well. Okay, we're going to time that for the last second and then roll into him. All right, he's going to do some shield swipes. We're going to block that last one. Hit him here to get some withered HP back. Okay, we're going to roll behind him when he does the shield slam because I don't think you can parry it, even if you're really good at parrying. Okay, roll into him last second here. If you're far from that, by the way, you're going to have to roll the... Um, you're going to have to roll the uh, the uh, the shockwave that comes out. But if you're close to him, you can just time to roll, basically. All right, let's use our third heal here. Okay, we're going to roll that. A couple more hits, and he will be dead. Okay, he's going to do a back swipe. Okay, roll into him. And down goes Tancred, Master of Castigations. Now we've got phase number two. Phase number two, I actually find easier. You just want to stick close to him and dodge his attacks. Um, his legs can cripple, which will give him a huge damaging hit from you. And you'll see what I mean. So what you want to do is lock on to whatever particular leg you want. I'm going to go for the front leg here and then start damaging it. Um, you will be able to deal a lot of damage. Ooh, wasn't able to roll that, unfortunately. You will be able to do a lot of stagger damage to the leg that you are targeting and then when the leg loses all of its HP or stagger HP or whatever you want to call it um, he will okay, we're going to heal here uh, he will fall down and then you can do a massive repost so the game's camera is kind of having trouble figuring out what to do we can see that leg is pretty close here okay we're going to roll last second there keep attacking the leg might be able to have enough stamina to fell him here okay we're going to roll that jump Let's see what he does. A lot of smoke everywhere. So close. He's going to do a charge, but that's fine. Yeah, this guy reminds me a lot of Ludwig from um, Bloodborne. Okay, so we're going to try to get over here. Do an R1. You saw I got a few free hits on him as well. And yeah, we're going to do big, big, big damage. Okay. Now we want to target another appendage. So we're going to target this one since we hit it a bunch. He's going to do a laser, which is fine with me because we're going to stay close. Lots of boons for staying close to enemies in these types of games. Uh, we've got two heals left. Okay, we're going to use one here. If we can get this arm... Yeah, okay, you can go between his legs there, by the way. If we can get this appendage broken, we're going to be in a really good spot. But he's going to start leaving lava on the ground and such. Uh, so we're going to actually roll to get rid of this fire here. Okay, very good. 
All right, let's see what he does. He's gonna do a big slam, which unfortunately hit me. I have no idea how that hit me. All right, we still have our death and we have one more heal. Let's go ahead and use this heal. Okay, let's see what he does. He's gonna probably do the laser or a bomb there. Yeah, this is why you wanna stick close to him. Okay, we're gonna roll out the fire. All right, so yeah, we wanna get closer. We don't want him to be able to do these bomb attacks. And unfortunately, when he lands on you like this, he puts lava on the ground, so you can't really do too much to punish. But this, you can definitely punish. So we're going to deal as much damage as we can to the arm here. Okay, what's he going to do? He's going to spit up some lava now, which is unfortunate. Uh, when this happens, you can throw your ranged attacks at him, like so, just because there's not much else you can do. Okay, we're going to roll that. All right, let's see what he's going to do here. Okay, right into the lava. That's super unfortunate. Um, yeah, we just got to go for it at this point. Yeah, hopefully he does the laser, and he does do the laser. So I'm going to get a couple of free hits on him before I do the R1 here. And this is going to get him really, really, really low. We still do have our death. Now, it's not going to matter if you get a limb down. So you want to just focus on avoiding his attacks at this point. Because, yeah, he's not going to... Oh, my God. He is not going to, um... Yeah, and my freaking game dropped a frame right at the last second there. This, this game is getting more frustrating the more I play, man. Uh, we're also invincible here, so I'm going to make use of that and get my withered HP back if I can. We're invincible for like eight seconds when we get up. Uh, I'm also going to switch back to this. And roll that last second. Throw the rest of my throwables. Dodge that last second. Okay, we're going to go for the kill here. Uh, we got about two or three more hits. Make sure we don't get cocky. Okay, one. Don't know where that hit went. We are on fire now, so we need to go for the kill here. And down goes Reinhold the Amjord. Quite a messy fight near the end of this guide. Twin faces of sin defeat Reinhold the Amjord. Down he goes. Whew. So yeah, that's a lot to take in there. Uh, first phase, uh, you just want to get good at parrying the attacks because his stagger bar breaks very easily, and then you can take him down with repost attacks. Second phase, uh, basically you just want to stick close to him. Um, he'll start to do lava attacks, about 70% HP, which you want to uh, try to get hits in when you can, but also avoid, obviously, if he jumps on you, he's going to put lava under you and stuff. So you want to just try to cripple his legs twice, and then go from there. Um, you can see how much damage we dealt by crippling him was huge. Uh, and yeah, remember to get that rid of that parasite in the first phase as well. Hopefully this guide helped, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out the playlist, support the video and the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.